69 days after she was fired from the telecommunication services of Trinidad and Tobago, former TSDT CEO Lisa Agard has broken her silence and is vehemently denying misleading Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez about the cyber breach at the company. This CEO, the former CEO of TSTT, categorically denies that I provided any misleading or false information to the minister or indeed to any stakeholder group throughout this entire process. In fact, she suggests that the minister did not report to the parliament from his latest correspondence with TSTT. Based on my recollection of events, what was actually said by the minister in the parliament was not what was actually prepared for him. What he quoted from in the parliament uh, on the 1st of November was from the public statement that TSTT had made on the 30th of October. On October 30th, the company had confirmed it was the victim of a cyber attack, but said there was no loss or compromise of customer data. Agard maintains that this continues to be true and says she is considering legal action based on statements made at a joint select committee on TSTT's management of the data breach. If TSTT's CEO is saying that, uh, that, uh, that I provided misleading or false information to the Honorable Minister, that is absolutely wrong and a serious and egregious defamation for which I will have to consult my attorneys to advise me on the appropriate legal action to take against TSTT and the acting CEO in particular for defaming my character. Without naming Agard, TSTT's acting CEO, Kent Weston, told the JSC her office was responsible for approving communication to the public about the company's affairs. The CEO's office is the one that issues any statement um, or authorizes any statements to the public or to the board, especially in cases of sensitive nature. Taxpayers also paid close to a million dollars to data protection company CyberEye Limited in the aftermath of the breach, but the company says a ransom was never paid. In part, the GSE was heard in camera where sensitive issues could be discussed. An internal investigation into the breach, ordered by Minister Gonzalez, is expected in 16 weeks. Gonzalez had no comment when contacted by CNC3 News. Doris Polo, CNC3 News.